Hello everyone, this is Matt at Fisher Electronics here. I'm going to show you how to program your Sony TV remote. Uh, in this case it looks like this, the silver remote. But how to program this remote to your cable or satellite box. Now this is for the X950G model. Um, that's a 2019 model. Um, you will notice that I have a couple other videos of part 1 and 2 which uses the IR blaster uh, cables, you know, and your remote for that, uh, plugging into the TV and then putting little IR sensors on your equipment. Don't need to do any of that with this new series model. We do it a different way, <clears throat> uh, just with the cabling. So this is going to be, again, for the 950G model. Uh, this is what the Sony TV remote looks like. It's more silver in color. Uh, programming this remote to your cable or satellite box, you know, in our area, we have Spectrum TV, um, or, you know, people have Dish or Direct TV, but there's a lot of cord cutters out there, too. First thing you're going to do in this case, you're going to use this little gear. That's going to be a way to get to your settings as quick as possible. So we'll be using that. We'll be using our arrows, left, down, right, up, and then this enter button in between. So we're going to hit the gear, our settings. And we're going to then access that by hitting enter. Where we're going to want to go here is watching TV. So we're going to select that. And then we're going to go down to uh, external inputs. And under external inputs is what we're looking for. There it says the cable satellite box setup. Okay, so we're going to do it. They give you two options. The cable satellite box control setup or setup by model number. We're going to do the first one, the control setup. And so here it says searching for your cable satellite box. Okay. And in this case, we have our TiVo box, which is connected via HDMI to the TV. Power on and connect. Okay. Before you select OK here, if you have a satellite or cable box, you want to make sure you go up to that box and find the power button on it or if you do it with your remote, but I recommend finding the power button and pushing that button on the box, making sure that it is on. Because you do need to have your box on or this will not work. I can't do that with a TiVo because it's always on. There is no power button to turn it off, it's always on. So in this case, I'm gonna hit okay to do that. Now it's gonna be searching for that box. We'll let it go, do its thing. Enter your zip code. All right, so we'll do that so it knows where we're at. Select your service provider. Now, if you have one of these providers here, that's what you would select. But in this case, I'm going to say provider not listed. So here I'll enter it. I'm going to enter TiVo. T I V. And then up at the top, you see it has that TiVo, so I'm just going to select that. I arrow down and I arrow to the right. That is enter right there. I'll select that. So it says searching. Select your manufacturer. Okay, TiVo again. I'll select that. Now we're going to select the input it's connected to. I have that box connected to HDMI 2. And so as I select that, you'll see the picture of that box display. If I arrow back to 1, since that's not connected, it goes black. So you want to know which input you have connected, but in this case it's HDMI 2, and now we see the picture from our cable box. So I'm going to select that. Now it's going to say, okay, we want to test this to see if it's going to work. It's going to say, hit the test button, which is just hitting enter because test is selected. Do you see channel up above? Does it basically change the channel? Uh, yes, it does. I'll hit test one more time so you can see it onto another channel. There it changed the channel. So I'm going to arrow over to the right and say, yes, that worked. All right, please select test button again to try another code. All right, we'll try it again. So it's going to say, do you see menu? I'll hit test. Yes, I do see menu. There the menu appears from the TiVo. So I'm going to say, yep, that worked. Setup is complete. Okay, we'll get rid of that. And then I'm going to get this menu out of here. And now we're in our TiVo. Now we have this remote connected and working our TiVo box, or in your case, your cable or satellite box. 
I'll hit back to get that off the screen. Anytime you are in the menu, um, using this remote here to control the menu or some function of your cable or satellite box, if you bring something up and you want to get it off, you want to hit this back button. That's like taking you back one step is what it's referring to. So, other functions on this remote that you'll use in this case is the guide. That'll bring up the guide uh, to what we're watching. There's our guide on the TV. And again, to get that off the screen, I can either hit guide again or I can hit back and that'll go off. For your recordings, you could hit DVR. Most of the time that's gonna work. In this particular case with TiVo, it does not work. So those may not work all the time, um, whether it's your DVR or things. Again, if I choose DVR, uh, it's not going to work with our TiVo box just because of how it's programmed. But most of the time with Spectrum, I see that that usually works. Um, also, you know, we'll just change our channel. Boom, it's changing the channel like what I want, hitting channel up. These will work at the bottom. Rewind, play, fast forward, pause, record. If I hit pause, sweet, TV paused. I hit pause again, it goes back. If you're watching something and you want to record, then we hit the record button, and it's going to say record this, this episode. It'll give you a different menu for your box, of course, but you can choose what you want, or if you're in it by accident, hit back, and that's going to take that off the screen. Those functions should work fairly close to that. Um, might be a little bit different with everybody's box, but that is how you program this remote on the 950G series. That's a 2000 model, 19 model, and forward. Be nice with our antenna system here, but uh, that is how effectively you would do that uh, with this model and these series. All right. Um, that goes over that for the most part, so hit the subscribe button if you like that or have comments or things, questions, throw them down in the comments below. Um, hopefully that gives you a pretty good idea and a scenario on programming this to your box and to your equipment. Thanks for watching and have a good one.